obviously you're you're disappointed um you know especially with the start of the game uh you know it just we didn't have the passion the the fight on the defensive end and they scored five of the first six um you know they we just we couldn't we had no answers we couldn't stop them i thought we got some and then on the other end you know it, it it's a it's a very complex game uh but it's also very very simple you you have to make shots and and we again we had i think 15 assists on 24 field goals probably our low for turnovers on on the year a uh, couple costly ones here and there but um you know, we sometimes have good possessions and we just don't make the shots. Uh, so, you know, I thought we picked, you know, credit to our guys. They didn't fight. We picked it up. We talked. It was almost a similar game to us last year here. Ten points at half. Uh, first TV timeout, second half, cut it, I think, to six or four. Uh, give yourself a chance, um, you know, but then you got to make a few plays when it really counts to have that chance. You fight way back. Not, you know, a lot of, do you have that energy? And we went, we made one real big mistake on defense. Davion went out on, they did their little ball screen slip and it's their goal play. And, you know, we've been through it. Davion runs out to the guy and, and we weren't supposed to go out on, on the guy. And then he throws it to the big guy uh, for the layup. I think it was three at that time. And then that was, a, you know, you give those easy ones, uh, uh, backbreakers uh, when it counts. Uh, Nimhart's a very good player. I thought we did a better job maybe in the second half on him. I, you know, Miles took it to us early. Um, but um, I thought – I don't know what he had in the second half. Not very much, to be honest. And But I, I wrote on the scouting report, one of the major keys was don't let the other guys hurt us. And Easley has 12. Um, Farabella comes in and, and gets eight. And – Ladie gets nine and two. And so, um, you know, there are other guys hurt us. And then our bench, you know, Carlton made the shots against Iowa State. Didn't make them today. Had a couple wide opens. Rudy's made them. Uh, didn't. We got Monty in a little bit. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, you, otherwise you look pretty balanced. 14, 13, 18, 12. Obviously, we need Selton to make some shots. Uh, you know, to start making shots, making a couple plays when it counts. Um, Days one, unbelievable line, his effort, 18 points, seven rebounds, three offensive, three, three assists, three steals. Still makes a couple, you know, not real smart plays, but, uh, you know, and then he's 12 on our play hard chart, um, you know, and he's a leader by a long range. So he, you know, he had got a big heart, plays his butt off, um, you know, we just now you got the grind of the league. Now you got to get ready. Obviously, the league is really good when you have a team like Texas go to uh, go to uh, Kansas and win by I think twenty. Uh, Baylor and Iowa State was a close game. Uh, we already had beaten Iowa State there, um, so you know every game's going to be tough, and uh, we'll see if we can have the maturity and toughness to come back and make be ready for the next one. Thank you, Coach. We'll take that first question from Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Coach. Um, Davion Bradford got his kind of welcome to the Big 12 moment this week or today against Samuel. How did he hold up? I thought, he, you know, on the line, it's pretty good. Uh, 14 and 9. Um, obviously, the, the foul trouble hurt us, him and Nigel, in the second half. Um, you know, and Samuel – you know, is is four points, ten rebounds. He he did what he does. You know, and that, and he's 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 very you know effective at what he does. But I, I thought Davion. I thought the first half we had, I believe, eight offensive rebounds, and mine had two points off those eight offensive rebounds, and a couple of them. Davion just, I guess, you know, I hate to say it, a year from now, he can power that through. Uh, and 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 finish that hoop or get a foul. We didn't get to the free throw line. Yeah, we didn't even get in a bonus in the second half. Um, you know, part of that we probably shoot too many threes. Part of it not playing strong. Um, you know, so you know we we got to finish those. But I, I it, it's a pretty good line for a freshman. And on the plus minus, he's minus one. Um, you know, so when he's in the game, we we were doing okay. And you mentioned rebounding. How critical was that that they really took advantage of you on the boards. All the points, second chance points don't add up to much. They just got more possessions out of it. 
Well, at halftime, we only had four offensive rebounds, and we had eight, and they had four points, and we only had two. So they, I guess they were a little more productive with it, um, uh, um, you know, but they, they hurt us, uh, you know, a few plays in the second half that, you know, the rebounding, a lot of them are defensive rebounds, uh, you know, because we didn't make shots. There's more opportunities. We got more shot attempts. And, uh, you know, we just didn't make as many. And, and they live up, they live off of threes and they only shoot 13. And at halftime, what was it? They, they were two for eight. But they were 14 for 14 from 18 from two at halftime. And we just – we weren't uh, physically tough enough to start the game uh, to, to fight them, to, to make them earn points. And uh, we gave them a couple easy ones, two or three easy ones. I, I know we got some too. But when you're – you know, it's such a fine line. Uh, you know, it, 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 you, those easy ones really make a difference. And Dejuan shot at the end of the half. What, what did that do for your team? And the irony being he's, he's running as he does it, but he actually released the ball with some of his best form I've seen. <laughs> well, it's a nice, you know, that they make – Nimhard makes a tough shot. And, you know, to our guys' credit, we just yell, get it out. And, you know, Dejuan, you get a shot up, it goes in, it gives a little momentum, come out and score right away, you know, start the second half, uh, gain, regain some of that momentum. And uh, – you know, again, days one has a big heart. He cares. He plays hard. Uh, you know, we need him to be a, a little more efficient on some things. But, uh, you know, you, you can't, you know, you're happy for him that because, uh, you know, he's, he's finally starting to make a couple shots, a couple plays. So it, I hope it helps his confidence. Thanks, Coach. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Bruce, going into these games, ideally, how many threes would you say you'd like your team to take on, on a daily basis? I think if we can keep – obviously, we haven't shot them well the last uh, two games. And even the game before that, we were 9 for 15, but then ended up 11 for 32 or something. So, uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe 12 for 32. Um, but, you know, we got we to gotta be a little more patient and uh, – you know, let, let things come. And, and I think even at end of shot clocks, drive them, drive them, you know, uh, but, you know, I'll have to look back. There were, I don't know. I thought we forced more threes uh, last game than this game. Uh, we had 25, probably, you know, you probably want to be around 18 or so uh, to have good balance and, and hopefully get to the free throw line a little more. And um, with Davion, is are you still seeing the progress daily from him? I mean, it, it seems like he's getting better every game. But where, what's your yeah. vantage point there? No, I, I'm, I'm. It's I'm really pleased. I told you guys since the beginning that he's been the biggest surprise for me. Um, you know, his his guardian, his family, uh, who has also helped coach him, uh, told us, hey, you know, he's going to need some time, and and I think we all thought that. Uh, but, you know, you play 29 minutes and go 14 and nine in the Big 12 against one of the better big guys. Uh, he, he's done an excellent job. I really think we – there's a handful of times where we came off screens and we probably should have thrown it to him a little more, um, you know, to you know, get, it, get the ball inside and, and play off of that. I, I think we play off of the three too much um, and we got to be a little more efficient. All right, thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it. Yep. Uh, next question to John Kurtz. Yeah, Bruce, did you guys get basically what you wanted there on that possession where you're down by three late in the game with the lob? Yeah, we, it, you know, it's a, actually a play we put in um, yesterday. And um, I thought, Mike, we did it well. They got all screwed up. We Mike was downhill. Maybe shoot the layup. I don't know. He had made that little runner before. Um you know, just, uh, you know, he made the play. I think Davion went to the front of the rim and Mike kind of threw it to the side. And he just, you know, again, a year from now, hopefully that leg is stronger. Those legs are stronger. Um, and he, he can make that play. So, uh, you know, it, it, you know, we said if we can get a three, we'll take a three. If we got it, got a two, we're taking a two. So uh, we got it to the hoop and, you know, then you, you play from there. With, 
Montavious, is it going to be pretty touch and go like this, getting him five or six minutes here yeah, for right I, now? I told, his, I told him and his family, my goal was, you know, eight, ten minutes at most. And, um, you know, just this young man that didn't practice for a whole month, um, he's, you know, since we got back, he's been involved in, you know, uh, what, four or five practices and not even the full go. So uh, it's going to take a little time. I hope he is patient. I hope he keeps working. He does know what's going on. But, um, you know, when you haven't played like that, it's just – and I've said this over and over, and I told him, it's not like riding a bike. You know, your timing, your rhythm, your, your endurance, all that stuff. It takes a while, and I hope he just has the patience to deal with that. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, uh, TCU starts five for five, uh, shooting the ball, and as you mentioned, 14 of 18 on twos in the first half. Did you feel like guys knew their assignments coming out of the huddle and – or aware of uh, yeah, you, yeah, I told Wyatt before the game on the scouting report. You know what they're going to do. They Jamie, they they've been running the ball screen actions, but you call it ball screen motion, whatever you want to call it. They got five, six different looks. We we actually went over it more than we have um, in a while. Um, and and you know it's like uh, you know I compared it to wishbone in the old days in football. You knew it was coming, but can you stop it? And and. You know, we obviously we didn't do a, a good job stopping it. I thought we uh, we gave up, a, a, you know, a layup on a little back cut. We gave up um, a layup on transition. Those easy ones, a handful of those easy ones, really, really made a difference. And and they and they made some shots. They, you know, to their credit, they made Nemhart and Miles early made made some plays. And uh, you know, it did. You know, you it's all a learning process to realize how good the other players are and, and what it's going to take. Um, you know, again, I, I'm not somebody – Wyatt asked about Nigel. Um, you know, we didn't practice him Wednesday, Thursday. Um, I think his ankle's better, but I don't think it's 100%. And I think on defense is where he probably – he struggled a little bit, and they, they kind of got him a couple times, even though at the end of the game against Omaha, he made some plays. So, um Defense is, you know, I, I, it was better, obviously, after the start. Probably take away that first, what, 10, eight, 10 minutes. It's, it's actually pretty good. And you, you really seem to get Nigel back going there for a few possessions in the second half. Yeah, we, we ran a couple quick hitters out of, the, out of some timeouts, drew up some things. Our guys actually executed a lot of stuff well. Um, the problem is we're not very good yet at – when I don't just call a player set. And I told him, I've told him several times the last few weeks, I don't want to have to call some every possession, but they got to be better at, at making decisions and, and making the right plays and not always forcing the action. We had one down the stretch. We had called a play out of timeout. We got a rebound. Deja was pushing it. There was a little, little there. And, and, you know, he just forced, a, you know, the, and again, we only had nine turnovers, but, Two or three of those are really costly at the wrong time. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Bruce, when we talked to, to Davion, he, he took the blame on that, that lob and said that it was on him. Uh, I mean, it sounds, sounds like more that you're saying maybe Mike didn't throw it in the right position. How, how do you kind of – no, I don't want to say assess blame, but how do you kind of describe how that play unfolded? It's, you know, it's just a play. I thought, you know, like I said, I normally you're kind of going to the left side of the hoop on, and Mike's going. Uh, Davion went a little bit to the middle, and and he just doesn't have quite that explosiveness yet to, you know, kind of change his direction or get up in the air. And uh, I mean, that's that's you know, obviously that play stands out because it's near the end of the game. But there's a lot of other plays that. Uh, you know, we could have made or shots we could have made that could have changed the outcome. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Yeah, I actually meant to ask this the other day, Bruce, but when do you expect Antonio to be able to play again? Um, I think the best guess would be uh, maybe Iowa State. Is that a week from Wednesday? 
um, if I believe that's right. That would, and that would be with a few practices, not many practices, three or two or three practices. So that would be the earliest. Okay. Has that added a new quirk to balancing that position with both him and Monty being in and out? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's just part of it's part of COVID. It's part of what we've dealt with, and I mean, it, you know, I obviously we we need Selton to play a little better. Um, you know, this is it's a learning thing for him how he deals with. I told all the guys how they deal with this and adversity. Are they going to come with a great attitude tomorrow? Are they going to come and work? We can't kill them. But, uh, you know, they got to come and pre prepare. And, um, you know, this is, you know, they got, they've got gotten opportunities. Davion's gotten an opportunity. Selton's got an opportunity. Carlton got an opportunity because of uh, injuries and, and COVID. And, and uh, you know, I think for the most part, they've taken advantage. But, uh, you know, now, now we'll see as the other guys come back and we get a good balance and get a little more out of everybody. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, next question to Arnie Green. Yeah, Bruce, just wondered if you could talk a little bit about uh, going on the road, not a Texas Tech, and uh, what you expect from that. I'm not sure what they did today. Um, I don't know if they played yet or not, but. Um, you know, they're, you know, Chris has done a good job, a um, lot like Scott Drew. Um, you know, even though this year I think we have a really good freshman in our league, um, you know, both Scott and, and Chris, I've, I've said they're great GMs. Um, they've been able to find those free agent transfers um, and piece them into their with, – with some of their really talented young guys. Uh, you know, he, he – you know, a couple of years ago he changed his defensive system and – uh, took some of Coach Knight stuff, took some other guys. Scott Guru has kind of taken it and gone with it. They have the athletes and the depth to to play that way. Um, Got to give them credit. So, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it'll it be a tough game. They've gone – we went to Iowa State and won, and they've gone to Oklahoma and won. Uh, you know, it, it's – you know, now, now do we have the maturity to come back, and we're going to have to be a little, little better, a little better if we're going to have a chance. 